Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fauston. Uh huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me to. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Niko Belik, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. Nico. Nico Bellic. You and Dimitri are taking over, no? This is not about taking over. You brought this on yourself. You pushed things too far. You would be dead if it wasn't for me. That is what Dimitri wanted when you killed Vlad. Dimitri. My brother. You see this? This statue says we are brothers for life. And now he betrays me. You didn't give him a choice. <laughs> you should have been calm. No one, not Dimitri, not anyone tells me to come. You think Dimitri would have survived prison without me? He'd just be some prison queen had I not been there. Meet for some gin monkey. I am not dead yet. Some are still loyal to me. Dad! That's something special! Spineless worm, Dalek! The strong survive, and the weak die! You. Lewis, I got work! Come on, guards! It 
it was never going to land! This is it! Guess what? say if I have to. Faustin is dead. You did a good thing. A hard thing. But a good thing. Hopefully this will mean peace with Petrovic. 